We are moving towards an irreversible climate change every single day. The use of fossil fuels is more than ever, and so are the carbon emissions. The greenhouse gases in the atmosphere are slowly increasing the Earth's temperature. There is no second opinion that a permanent fix to this problem is reducing the greenhouse gases. But, multiple alternate ideas have been floating around to solve the problem, including a band-aid fix, dimming the sun. A widely debated idea in the past few years was to spray sulfur particles in the atmosphere to mimic volcanic eruptions. The particles would reflect the sunlight and lower the temperature. However, this could lead to other consequences that are not fully understood. The idea was eventually shelved by the experts due to the risks involved. Recently, astrophysicists at University of Utah have published a study with a bold and literally outlandish plan. In place of adding dust in the atmosphere, why not spray it in the space away from Earth? A small amount of space dust can lead to considerable dimming of light from a star. The idea is to launch enough dust that helps block 1 to 2% of sunlight from reaching the Earth, eventually lowering the temperature. This brings up several other questions and problems. Wouldn't this dust eventually rain back on Earth and get burnt up in the atmosphere? To solve this problem, scientists suggest to launch it at a point between the Earth and the Sun, called Lagrange Point L1. This is the point where the gravitational forces of the Earth and the Sun get balanced and it lies about 900,000 miles inside Earth's orbit. The massive James Webb Space Telescope is at an exactly opposite spot called L2, outside the Earth's orbit. The next problem at hand is that, at this point, the dust will soon be blown away and dispersed by solar wind and radiation. To overcome this problem, the dust will have to be replenished every few days. The idea sounds difficult, but promising so far. Now comes up the big question about the cost of launching the regular supply of dust in space. It will require huge mining operations on Earth and then carrying it all the way up into the orbit. To make this more cost-effective, Moon was suggested as a launch base. The scientists ran simulations and derived ideal trajectories at which dust can be launched from the surface of the Moon into the orbit. Lunar dust is a better candidate, in terms of the grain size and sunlight reflecting properties as well. Launching dust from the surface of the Moon is also easier because of its weaker gravity. This is no way a replacement of the measures we need to take to manage climate change. However, in case we reach a point of emergency where dimming the sun is required, this idea might be the best we have.